Joomla extension developers are starting to release their extensions for PHP 8.1 only, which means time to talk about PHP 8.0 end of life a little sooner than I thought we would. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for it. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 270 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also build Joomla sites, maintain them, migrate them to Joomla 4. If you are uh, looking to hire someone short-term or long-term or even just sketch out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com, and let's talk. All right, let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll tackle the topic at hand. Uh, we need to just uh, line up a few quick facts here for our discussion and just to understand the implications of extensions being released that uh, will only work in PHP 8.1. All right, so first of all, PHP 8.0, end of life, November 26, 2023. No security support after the 26th of November. Now, Joomla 4 is end of life, October 17th, 2025. So we have over two years that Joomla 4 is going to be just fine as it is. And so uh, there's there's no panic there. Uh, with Joomla 4, the recommended PHP version is 8.0, although Joomla 4 will run as low as PHP 7.2.5. All right, now Joomla 5 is coming out in October. I think it's coming out like the 17th of October, if I remember correctly. Let's take a look at a couple of quick things about Joomla 5. Uh, Joomla 5 will not include breaking changes for templates and third-party extensions. So uh, Joomla 5 is not going to break anything. There's nothing in Joomla 5 that Joomla 4 won't work on. So they're not removing any code that was marked deprecated in Joomla 4. However, and this is important for our, our points here, Joomla 5 will have a minimum PHP version of 8.1. All right, so uh, that's important to note. Uh, so components that work in Joomla 4 will also work in Joomla 5 as long as they support PHP 8.1. And that's what we're talking about today. All right, so what does all of this mean? Well, first of all, it means that if you're in Joomla 3, go ahead and you can migrate to Joomla 4 using the same PHP version that your Joomla 3 site is running in as long as it's higher than 7.2. Uh, 8.0 is recommended but you are good to migrate into Joomla 4. Now, that's running Joomla 4 in 8.0. If you're using something in Joomla 3, an extension or a template in Joomla 3 that will not run in PHP 8.1, when you migrate it, your site to Joomla 4, you're gonna have to stay in PHP 8.0 for a little while until all of your extensions are 8.1 compatible. That means if there are some extensions that you're using that will only work in 8.1, you're going to have to sort some things out in the in-between time, whether that means you have to stay in Joomla 3 until everything's ready for PHP 8.1, or you migrate to Joomla 4 and use versions of extensions that still work in 8.0 but aren't the most current ones for PHP 8.1. Now, the next thing is, is if you're in Joomla 4, you can migrate to Joomla 5, no problem. As Again, though, as long as all of your extensions that you're using in J4 are compatible with PHP 8.1. If you're in J4, you're using something that doesn't work under PHP 8.1, you're going to have to wait to update to, PH, uh, update to Joomla 5. There's a lot of numbers and words flying around, right? Remember, Joomla 3 to Joomla 4 is a migration, but Joomla 4 to Joomla 5 is an update. All right, so now some people would ask this question, why is it that Joomla keeps doing stuff like this? Well, actually, this is a PHP thing. Now, if we scroll down on this page, and of course, I have all the links in the description below, you will see here a few notes about PHP version 8.1. PHP 8.1 brings, amongst other new features, the possibility of parallel execution of parts of the code. Oh, by the way, I'm just reading. I don't understand all of this, but it sounds pretty good. A parallel execution of parts of the code, which can result in an immense increase in performance. You like faster websites? Then you're going to like Joomla 5 on PHP 8.1. So PHP 8.1 for Joomla allows us to write code that makes use of this feature. And even if we don't have the time to use it in 5, 
uh, it leaves a door open to use it in a minor version. So, uh, faster site. Also, let's skip this next paragraph here, optimizations. PHP 8.1 allows us to make in and out read and write operations asynchronous. To run in the background, this possibility will be made available for Joomla 5 extensions. So Joomla 5 extensions that run in PHP 8.1 are going to be able to take advantage of these asynchronous operations. Uh, modern database systems provide recursive queries. This will make it possible to replace nested sets. Again, I'm just reading here. Nested sets are used for access control, categories, etc. But while uh, they are very fast when reading, they're very time consuming to write for sites with thousands of articles and categories or users and user groups. This sometimes leads to performance problems. Therefore, in Joomla 5, the nested sets will be replaced by recursive queries. So we're talking speed again. We like fast web pages. How many times have we pulled our hair? It's like, why is this site not faster? Well, a newer PHP version and Joomla being able to take advantage of what's new in that it goes a long way to making the sites faster. Now, it's not just a PHP thing either, because look, here's a paragraph on SQL versions. Joomla 5 will support MySQL 8.0.11, MariaDB 10.4, and Postgres SQL 12 plus. Look, it says we will separate the database drivers for MySQL and MariaDB as the two systems are becoming more and more distant from each other. So there's a practicality here as well, as different systems of database processing are running, or systems as more common ones start to diverge in what they do in common, then some adjustments need to be made. And so that's gonna be a thing that's happening in Joomla 5. All right, so it's not just a PHP thing, it's an SQL thing. All right, now some people would ask, well, why don't extension developers just keep their extensions working on lots and lots of different PHP versions, including the older PHP versions? Well, one reason is security. If a PHP version is no longer getting security updates, do we really want extensions being uh, developed for a super long time on something that isn't being watched for security? Because as much as it's, it's sad when extensions that we like, we can't use them on our site because PHP versions have expired, just think how angry everybody gets when their site gets hacked and uh, they turn on developers because they had an extension that wasn't secure because they're using all this old stuff that's no longer supported. So you can't blame extension developers for uh, wanting to build their extensions in something that is secure so people don't hate on them because haters gonna hate. So why give them opportunities? Just program in things that are secure. Also, let's remember that for uh, Joomla extension developers that it is a source of income for many of them and they and their families get dizzy when they don't eat. And so they have to keep going to the store and, and buying food for their families and themselves so they can eat and all the other things that they need. So it's just a good business decision for them to be programming in what is active and not be trying to do every minute little thing and cover every little thing that everybody out there wants. You've got to keep your eye on the prize to keep making a living. And for those that are doing it as a hobby or as a side hustle or just for their own enjoyment, they like using the latest stuff. And by using the latest stuff and the secure stuff, it allows them to do new things, exciting things, even come up with new extensions that maybe they couldn't before uh, so that they can put them out there and not only enjoy using them themselves, but enjoy people using them. So why saddle them with all kinds of expectations that they have to cover absolutely every old thing and uh, not be able to enjoy doing what it is that they enjoy. Keeping your site and extensions running on expired software and worn out and tired database processors makes about as much sense as putting a gas generator in the back of a Tesla so you don't have to stop and charge your car, which is exactly what this guy did. And you know, it's quirky and fun to watch, but it's not a viable solution. And there's a reason that on his test trip, uh, he has two police encounters along the way. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, Enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.